In this video, we're going to take a look at how you would go about finding the limit of a piecewise function. So, for this example, we're going to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, where f is defined by this piecewise function. Alright, we need to note that whenever you're dealing with a piecewise function, the function is actually defined for different expressions based on the conditions that you are given. So this piecewise function is defined by x squared plus 2 cosine x plus 1 for values that are less than 0, and it's defined e to the x minus 4 for values greater than or equal to 0. So to evaluate this limit, we're going to have to look at one-sided limit. We're going to look at um, the limit as x approaches 0 from the left, and then we will also look at it from the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. So if I'm going to work this out, I'm going to do the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of f of x. All right, now I'm going to come up here. <clears throat> x is less than 0, so this would be coming from the left, so I will be evaluating this expression for when the limit is, um, for x is approaching 0 from the left. So the limit <clears throat> as x approaches 0 from the left of x squared plus 2 cosine x plus 1. At this point, I'm going to do a direct substitution, and I'm going to plug 0 in for <clears throat> each of those. 0 squared plus 2 cosine 0 plus 1. I have a 0 here. Cosine 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 1 more is going to give me a 3. So evaluating this limit as x approaches 0 from the left, I get a 3. Now I'm going to go through and evaluate this limit coming from the right. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of f of x <clears throat> I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to look at my conditions. For x is greater than or equal to 0, means I'm coming in from the right. So this particular expression will be what I'm going to evaluate. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right is e to the x minus 4. Again, I'm going to do a direct substitution. So e to the 0 minus 4. Anything raised to the 0 power is always 1. So 1 minus 4 is going to give me a negative 3. All right, from this, I can then conclude that the limit from the left is 3, the limit from the right is negative 3. Therefore, since those values do not equal, then my limit of the overall x approaching 0 of f of x does not exist. So the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x does not exist. So the thing to keep in mind when you're trying to find the limit of a piecewise function is that you're going to have to consider those one-sided limits just because of the way the function is originally defined. Definitely thanks for watching. Be sure and give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Thanks.